bringing it to you on a Wednesday, October 19th, 2022. This will air this particular Sunday on our YouTube Sunday uh, segment, your college segment. What uh, I, I had to look at my little notebook and I wanted to see what we're going to talk about in our college segment because uh, that's why you write things down. You know, whether it be electronically, I'm old fashioned, I'm a dinosaur, I write things in a notebook. And uh, I kind of thought of a little theme that I want to share with you guys for a four part series. However, I do realize that I have not finished my three part series of uh, turtles. I did the yellow bellied, uh, red eared, and I still need to do the musk turtle. I haven't forgotten. Uh, that'll be part three, but I do have an, uh, a little another surprise fish uh, visit to a store next week. So it'll probably be the following time I do um, fish, I think. Uh, but I haven't forgotten. And this is actually going back to my college segment. We're going to be doing a four part series on college housing. As you can see, I am using my, my little notebook here. And I wrote down some notes on what I want my four part series to be in terms of college housing. We're going to be doing living on campus, the pros and cons, you know, the, the good points and the bad points, living off campus, the pros and cons, uh, questions to ask for first time renters, because this actually for most uh, 17, 18 year olds is the first time at adulting, as they say. So they're going to really have to learn what to do when they rent. Uh, and then the fourth uh, part of my college housing is going to be ways to save while living off campus because uh, living on your own and adulting can be expensive. So we're going to start off with part one of our series, uh, the pros and cons about living on campus, living on a beautiful campus uh, here in the United States of America and uh, enjoying life as a roughly uh, 17 to 22, 23 year old. So as you can probably tell, being, uh, being that I'm uh, an educator, I try to number things or write letters on them. So this is slide number one or point number one. Uh, pros uh, to living on campus. Uh, it's easy to meet people and make friends. It, it really is. There, there, there can be hundreds if not thousands, usually thousands of people all together, all in one place, and you're gonna meet them and greet them, and you're gonna have a you're gonna have a fabulous time. And so it's really easy when you're living on campus. A negative is that when you're living on campus, the cost, the price tag, it seems to always go up. It is anywhere between ten to fifteen thousand dollars per school year. Now remember, a school year here in the United States in college usually goes from the tail end of August to the middle of December, and then again around mid January, late January till late April or the middle towards the end of May. So there's really not that long a period of time considering how much money that you are spending on your housing. Number two in this college segment of the YouTube channel on pros and cons of living on campus in your college campus, the classroom and meeting places are usually a walking distance from your room. Usually, I know I went to uh, Florida State University in Tallahassee and I was perplexed on how you really needed to take these little minivans here and there and there and here because everything was so far away. But usually it is walking distance and usually that is what a college classroom looks like now in 2022, 2023. Uh, smart boards and Promethean boards and uh, places for you to plug in your laptops. And so that is really uh, pretty modern and that's usually, uh, it really makes it easy. You don't have to like, you know, to get your car, or you don't have to get into a bus or any of that. So that's a big pro for living on campus. A negative is you usually don't have a lot of privacy since you may share the room with a few people. And people tend to kind of say, hey, let's get together. Hey, let's have a little party. Hey, let's get together. Let's watch some TV. Let's go listen to some tunes and let's go play some video games and all that. And hey, hey, hey. And sometimes you just don't have the privacy that you would want. And that is a negative of living on campus. Continuing with our little theme over here, and this is the third uh, idea about living on campus, uh, pros and cons. The pro is the financial aid may, underline the word may, cover the cost of your room. So it could be free. Your little room could be free, depending on how hard you work on getting your, again, connections, your federal aid for the FAFSA through your state, whatever your 
your status if you live in the United States, um, any aid that you may get through the college that you are eventually choosing, and those private scholarships that I have mentioned that I need to do more videos on, such as if you need to write it down, write it down. These are private scholarships, fastweb, F-A-S-T, web.com or scholarships.com or gomary.com. Those are all legit sites. You bundle those together and your financial aid may cover that room and board. But another negative is that it can be difficult to study, to focus, to study. <laughs> let's use it, let's say what it is. Focus to study because there is always something happening. There is, there's a ton of sports going on during the day, at night. There could be some type of yoga class, some type of, hey, let's go see the band. Let's go, let's go listen to the comedian. Let's go do this. Let's go get some ice cream. Let's go out and have a good time. And uh, it could be difficult that you to forget that you are not there to party all the time, even though it's nice. You are there to study, so that can definitely be a con. Alrighty, number four, because I, I write these and it's four of seven. Uh, a pro to living on campus. Again, we're talking about college housing. College housing. A pro is your the staff. Because the staff doesn't mean, you know, necessarily adults. It could be just mean upperclassmen. They have something called RDs, residential directors, and RAs, residential assistants. Uh, and they said, you know, hey, you're paying a lot of money. Well, let's plan some games. Let's plan some outings. Let's uh, make sure we would. Sometimes they have something called color wars. You know, the first floor is going to be white, and the second floor is going to be uh, red. And we're gonna we're gonna have these games, and we have these activities. It just it gets so crazy in a good way that you just realize that you are just chock full of, of things to do. So that is that is definitely a pro. A con is, or a negative, because there's so much going on, these residence halls, that's what they call residence halls, therefore can be noisy on weekends and at nights. And you're trying to, to study, you're trying to concentrate, and you have all these things going on, your own phone going, your, your, your friends, your stuff online, and there's just so much going on that uh, you, you just, you, it just gets too noisy. Continuing here with our lovely uh, segment here on the pros and cons of living on campus and in part one of our college housing. Uh, fifth thing, a pro is housekeepers clean, clean the common areas. And I wanted to pick a, a housekeeper that was both male and female because I know it's, uh, it's a it's a thing. People think oh, only women do it, but that's not true. And again, the, the cleaning equipment here. Um, but the key key word here is common because uh, they're not going to clean your room. Uh, it, it is a rare, rare find where your college will clean your room because people have private stuff and whatever that means. Um, I gave up privacy years ago, but you know, whatever that means. So it, it means the general outside is going to be clean. And so you don't have to worry about that. And that, and that is a big pro. You know, you're, the, that's a load off your head. However, a negative to living on campus is if you have dietary issues, like I have type 2 diabetes, but uh, that could be a dietary issue. You may find it difficult to eat uh, in the campus cafeteria uh, because they cater to the masses. They don't cater to the few. You may be vegan. I know I grew up in a Jewish neighborhood and I know I, I, I work, I help poor choice of words, I go visit a Jewish school um, in North Miami Beach. Uh, they're all kosher. And uh, I know a good Jewish boys and girls, which I totally respect, I really do. Uh, they want to eat kosher. They don't want to eat just regular, ordinary food. So they need to make sure, and vegans and vegetarians and pescatarians and, and type 2 diabetics like me or whatever, you need to see, hey, that could really be, a, that could really be bad if I go live on campus because I will have trouble trying to find food to eat. All right, I almost pressed the wrong button. Thank God I did not. Number, number six on the pros and cons of living on campus. Uh, pro, students have access to study groups and other ed educational resources. There you see your study group. How is it, uh, how you have access to study groups? Because they live there. You kind of get get people together. You don't have to because I know I was a commuter a thousand years ago, and I used to. And we are gonna do a video about uh, commuting uh, to college, but they're there. All you have to do, hey, hey, Johnny, Susie, and Sally, hey, you want to get together? Hey, let's do it. Much, much easier. And you have all access to these computers and video things and the internet and everything is there. And uh, it just makes a heck of a lot easier because you're right there. You don't have to kind of look and f uh, fumble around through stuff. 
negative off about living on campus, you may have to share a bathroom. I didn't believe that. I, I really didn't. And when I started visiting colleges back in the winter of 2005, uh, this is 2022, I saw that there were literally floors where there was either one or two bathrooms in the entire floor. And I'm going, uh, what? And they said, no, no, everybody sh showers in the, you know, there is privacy, obviously, but, you know, but you, you could be showering and there could be four other people and four other stalls showering. You could be doing what you got to do in the bathroom and it's a regular stall the way you would have it at a, at a baseball game or, or things like that. And, and it's, it's a real public bathroom. And I know I would get totally turned off by that. But I need my own personal bathroom. I'm old, I know. But, you know, it, you might like it. You might say, hey, and you come out of the shower and you you put a towel around yourself and hey, and, and that would drive me insane. But some people like it. But that could be a negative. And last but not least, a pro to living on campus is most on-campus housing have security people. You hear my lovely security people with their little walkie-talkies and hey, we are we are fully protected. I like that a lot because I know that a lot of cities and a lot of, uh, who's kidding who, there's no such thing as a safe anything. So to know that there's a little extra security around or on campus, on the grounds, um, or if you got, you know, let's be honest too, you drink too much, you, you may use drugs, um, not advocating any of that, but if you do, I mean, let's be honest, you're going to want somebody to kind of take you home. <clears throat> and a lot of these colleges offer that no questions asked. They, they pick you up from wherever you are and they take you home. So that is a big, big, big plus a con to finish it up is these dorm rooms may be small and I picked a, 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 car a caricature, a really small room. You could, it could really be that small with your bed over here and, and that, that's that's about it. They could be small, so limiting your, it could limit your storage space. You say, oh, I don't have a lot of stuff. If you don't believe me, ask your mom, ask your dad, and they will tell you how much stuff you actually own. And that's all I got. That's part one of college housing. And like I said, we do a four part series. I have my notebook, I'm gonna leave my notebook open on that page on my desk so I don't forget what's, uh, what's next on the docket. But uh, I hope you like it. It's a whole new playlist, college housing. Uh, it won't be the end. Those, are, those four are not going to be the end of it. It's just four things that I kind of thought of and I did a little research and I kind of sniffed around. But those are the four things, four parts that I want to get started with, with college housing. And it is amazing the amount of different things you can talk about with tropical fish, talk about with college. Um, and uh, really, kind of, you really have to do your research on anything. Because I, I even mentioned that when I, I did this uh, fish visit uh, earlier in the day. You know, you have to do research. You can't just say, oh, that's a beautiful fish. Oh, that's a beautiful college. Oh, that's a beautiful dorm room. Oh, that's, be you know, you really got to check it out because at the end of the day, you are the paying customer, whether it be fish, whether it be college, and you got to say, hey, is this something that's right for me? This is the Weedy Fish. <laughs>